California. The UCLA basketball team did something that hasn't been done in a long time. The Bruins gave everyone a reason to smile. At a time when everything you hear about seems to be bad, finally something good. A group of wonderful young men, led by a classy guy and his staff, realized the impossible dream, winning a national title. Congratulations to the UCLA Bruins. And now we'll look back at some of the memorable moments on and off the court that made their championship run so very special. Edney with the basketball into the front court. Down through the lane. Goes down. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! It could have been our last game. We were on the ropes pretty much, and I was glad I was just able to, to make the shot to uh, keep us going. You simply the best. Can, you, can you give me a little of that pose? Uh, can you do it? Give me a little pose. You want to... I want to give us a little okay, pose. Okay. Go ahead. I guess it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. How you doing? Oh, it's the greatest thing in life, buddy. Aren't you so proud of your husband I'm right so now? <laughs> Aren't you? Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest coach that ever lived, John Robert Wood. Right there. Ed O'Bannon. <laughs> it's a great honor for me. Big country brings down backboards, I bring down, bring down microphones. What a great week, what a great story, and all the folks at UCLA, we say to you, thanks for the memories. All right, it's time for a quick check of the mailbag. David Gayton of Canoga Park writes, I hope you can answer this letter because I wrote it in biology instead of taking notes. Ha ha! Will Cal Ripken's attempt to break Lou Gehrig's record be jeopardized by the strike? David? No. No regular season games have been played to date. If Ripken starts every game, he should break the record in early September. Thanks for writing your T-shirts on the way. If you have a comment or question, Sunday Night Sports, 3000 West Alameda, Burbank, 91523. Well, they say, hey, if we were still in college, boy, would we be having some fun with the Michigan Fab Five. For at Michigan, both Howard and Weber would have been seniors this year had they not opted to go to the NBA. They were part of the original Fab Five of the Wolverines. They played in the NCAA Finals two years in a row. Howard 25, Weber number four. But they never won an NCAA championship. So with Weber and Howard and the likes already gone to the NBA, it was time for the new stars, namely the stars of the UCLA Bruins who were in the spotlight Monday night. Guys like Ed O'Bannon, who used to play against Weber and Howard, teaming up with freshman Toby Bailey, leading the UCLA Bruins over Arkansas. Chris Weber and Juwan Howard watched that game. And they said, oh, what could have been if they were still at Michigan? Yeah, I watched it because a lot of those guys in college we actually played against. We played against Ed O'Bannon. We played against a couple of guys at Arkansas when we played them. And uh, we beat all those teams. So, of course, I look now and say, man, if we would have stayed, boy, they, we would have changed college around. <laughs> Now, could you have beaten UCLA? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't give me, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We would have beat Duke last year yeah. for the first time if we would have won that championship. And then this year, we, UCLA couldn't compare to the Fab Five. You know, uh, they were a good team, but still, you know, 
we were a better team. Juwan Howard about the Fab Five. The credit goes, of course, to the UCLA Bruins. Jim Herrick guides UCLA to its first title in 20 years, thanks to their most outstanding player. People always talk about uh, the years that uh, Coach Wooden has won his championships, and now they'll they'll say Coach Herrick won one. You know, it's like there was 10 championships, and now it's not 10 anymore. It's 11. You know, and, and that is I can't. It's, it's unreal. Ed O'Bannon, UCLA Bruins. Moved to the NHL. Goalie Mike Vernon of the Detroit Red Wings was acquired by Detroit during the offseason, as you know. This guy has more than proved his worth.